are availing ourselves to all of the options that our hard work and circumstances currently afford us. And that means that single motherhood by choice is going to be an option that more and more black women consider and even exercise. My thing is this. What happens when that kid gets a little older and starts talking and thinking and wants to ask, where's my daddy? Everybody else has a daddy. Where's my daddy? This is the parts that Ebony doesn't think and many other black women don't choose to use their brains. Okay. They choose to, you know, do things without thinking. Women who have careers, there's nothing wrong with having a career, but you have to ask yourself a question. What is it with you that you are resorting to this? Okay, she had numerous suitors. Why didn't they work out? And women like herself, who also grew up without a dad, okay, choose to go this route. And history is repeating itself. This is what I'm saying. You know, I was wondered what's what was the issue with her. And the fact is, she grew up without a father. Okay, and now she thinks it's perfectly fine to do that. Women who grow up without dads are the most very difficult women to be around because, you know, if they don't have a mentor in their lives, a male positive father figure that is not taking advantage of them, they could be very much uh, slip into feminism and have a very warped mindset of what a man is supposed to be. Okay. And those type of women are the women that usually end up being single moms. They end up in toxic relationships and they refuse and some refuse to change in order to find a good man. Cause that means they have to go through some inner soul searching accountability for, uh, for picking poor mates, etc. And I got to think who is backing her, who is backing her to say these things. And I guarantee you, it's a, it's a liberal whites because liberal whites do not like blacks. Democrats do not like black people. They don't. They want you enslaved. They want you in a, vic a state of victimhood. And once again, please check out the article from Manning Johnson and the book, Racism, Communism, and Common Sense. Let's continue because it will show you everything um, about how the Democrats want blacks to be slaves. Republicans do, but Democrats also, and they got a playbook. So anybody that's in their feelings about that can go ahead and start to process right now. Because black women that have the privilege to embark upon this expensive and oftentimes lengthy process will increasingly decide to forego marriages and partnerships that do not serve us and that are not in our best interests. And now that bypassing those insufficient relationships does not have to come at the expense of motherhood, well, frankly, it's a whole new world. A world in which black women are no longer subject to the desperation of being chose because now we get to do the choosing. And the child suffers, okay? The child grows up without a father where is the father oh we get to do the choosing like you just pick the sperm it's like you want to go to a, a candy store and you're not thinking about the long-term consequences of this and as we choose we do have to contend with the reality of a dismally small supply of black sperm because most black women on this journey, we want to create children that look like us and that look like our families. And that means we want black sperm. And as we heard from Reese Brooks, it's the definition of slim pickings. And sometimes that means compromising on this aspect of your journey. Now, I am extremely fortunate that I was able to secure two vials of black sperm from California Cryo Bank when I embarked on this part of my journey last fall. But I do know that I am an outlier. So I've got two concrete tips for single black women who think this may be an option, either now or maybe later. 
Number one, please check out Reproductive Village. It's a new black-owned cryobank, and it's designed to help with this shortage of black sperm. It's set to open its doors in D.C. later this year, and it will also have drop-off locations in Atlanta and Houston, Texas. And number two, be proactive. I say go ahead and start looking right now for desirable black sperm. Register with all four of the big cryobanks, and this includes California Cryobank, which I used, Seattle Sperm Bank, Fairfax Cryobank, and Zytex. Then you can scan the current options for black sperm. And if you see some sperm that you like, I suggest go ahead and buy at least two vials right now. Even if you do not intend to use them anytime soon, trust me, it's better to have them than to be without them when the time comes. And listen, if you never need them for whatever reason, what a wonderful gift to give to a friend or a sorority. Are you serious? Giving away DNA like that? What, what is this, some sort of trafficking? This is what she wants to do? What a, what a, what a beautiful gift. Do we give it away on New Year's Eve, Christmas, Thanksgiving? How about, yeah, New Year's Eve? Oh, here you go, here you go, one bitter sister to another. Yeah, you know, Happy New Year. You know, we could have kids. Yay, have kids. Right. Those kids are going to be so screwed up. Okay. I remember like uh, Phil the Advice Show was joking around and saying, you know, men should, black men should capitalize on this. And uh, since there's a shortage that they should uh, jack up the price. <laughs> But in reality, um, this is horrible. Once again, the kid is not thought about. It's just about you. And basically, the demographic of women that Ebony K talks to are women that are just selfish, feministic, um, women who don't care about family and very much are possibly of the Rainbow Brigade that think that this is the way to go. These children are going to be so screwed up, so messed up. Sorority sister in need. And all Sorority sister in need. Yeah. <sighs> creepy, creepy stuff, man. Uh, I mean, <laughs> so just, she just gives off that stereotype of women that are, you know, have money, but they don't have a personality they're very cold and selfish and don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with a woman having a career there's nothing wrong with a woman having her own money but if your personality sucks you're not going to have a mate for long and you may put yourself in a single mother category if you don't fix your issues and her issue is the fact she grew up without a father so that makes her like i don't have to need a man I am in control. I run things. I don't need you for anything. I am selfish. I dominate. This is how it is for a lot of women who grew up without dads. Okay. And it's really a sad situation. It just really is. Also, most of those banks, they allow you to resell the sperm back to the bank itself. Listen, I know that many are going to question or even indict. This is so damn gross, man. I'm just, it's, it's freaking gross. Ah, oh, man. I mean, this, this is what she wants to do. And there's no thought of how creepy this sounds. And, you know, a lot of these women, and the sad thing is like, I watched this on Twitter, but now it's X. And one woman was saying, well, men are giving, black men are giving sperm away for free. Why don't just take it and just raise the kid right? You can't raise the kid right if it's just by yourself. You know, and I've typed in, why not just seek date to seek marriage and a man that will love you and you guys could raise a kid together as husband and wife. I'm still waiting to hear back from that person. Of course, that person was a black woman who made that comment. And from the looks of the face and everything, you could tell that person comes from an urban black community which is poor, dysfunctional, and they really can't think straight because they've been raised by single mothers all their life, a dysfunctional single mother. Diverse sperm shortage causes dilemma for some black women. Have a baby who doesn't share your background or remain childless. Personally, I think any woman that wants to just have kids um, by themselves and purposely wants to be a single mother by choice, 
should be banned from being a mother and it should be illegal for them to be a single mother. It should be illegal for them, you know, shut down these sperm banks, man. I really think about that. Just shut them down because all it is is letting selfish women um, get a chance at uh, being monsters to kids who do who they think they will love, who they think they love when they really don't. The pandemic helped expose an issue for some women of color using sperm banks, finding donors who to share their backgrounds. CBS News looked into a California cryobank, Firefax cryobank, Seattle sperm bank, and Zytex. Considered the four major U.S. cryobanks and found that 53% of the available sperm is from white donors. Less than 4% is from black donors. The Washington Post first reported on the shortage. A cryobank is a facility that stores frozen sperm, eggs, embryos, and tissues to assist people in reproduction if needed. Black men, keep it up. Do not give your sperm away to these sperm donors. Do not do it. You don't know who's going to be raising your kid. They could be monsters, pedophiles, people who think these kids are just pets. You don't know who these who whose womb is incubating your sperm. Don't do it. This leaves many women like Jamila Galloway with a choice between having a child that doesn't reflect their own race and a culture or not having a baby at all. Galloway is 40 and single when she decided to use sperm donor, a sperm donor to have a child. She hoped for a baby that looked like her. However, her options were limited. When she filtered the search for donors of her own race, her options went from hundreds to just a handful. She described that experience of feeling like being on a hunt. It almost felt like I was having a bit of a decision, my decision taken away, she said. Good. Dr. Tia Jackson Bay, a fertility doctor in New York City, said every patient of color at her practice has experienced the struggle of finding a sperm donor who shares their background. Historically, donors have been recruited from places where maybe black men are not present, you know, institutions of higher learning, certain areas, geographic areas in the country, Jackson Bay said. Most Cairo Bank requires three generations of medical family history, which not all black Americans have access to. As a result, many black women across the country like Angela Stepanik eventually gave up on finding a black donor altogether. Stepanik, who describes herself as half black and half Croatian, welcomed a multiracial baby girl last year with her, with her wife via sperm donor. Oh, great. Initially, having a black baby was non-negotiable for Angela Stepanik when she began the process however she later realized that it was it was a concession she had to make in her order to have a baby it's america we're supposed to have all the choices that we want but we really don't have any choices in this process and this is one pro one process that really impacts our legacy for the rest of our lives you know our future as a family and as a people oh, great but her experience has inspired her to make a change to prevent anyone from having to go through the same struggle. This fall, she plans to open her first Black-owned cryobank in the country that will give Black women warmth, safety, and options. Black men, do not go to these sperm banks. Do not let them own your sperm. Don't do it. Do not do it. I want to give them access to the same amount of options that every other couple has going through this process, Septic said. Reproductive Village and Septic Sep6 Cryobank is set to open in Washington, D.C. We will prioritize recruiting black donors. The Cryobank also has also have drop-off locations in cities that include Houston and Atlanta. The number of Hispanic donors is also low, with only 8%. Good job, guys. Hispanics, don't give your sperm away. 8% of donors, sperm donors for the largest, four largest cryobanks being of Hispanic descent. Two of the largest cryobanks acknowledge that the issue and they claim to be working toward recruiting more diverse donors. I hope everyone, every man refuses to give their sperm to a black woman. Don't do it. Do not do it. Any woman going to these sperm banks? Hell no. Hell no. In a statement to CBS, the Seattle Sperm Bank said that they are committed to finding ways to address the lack of diversity in their donor program by actively recruiting more men of color and having ongoing conversations about the importance of sperm donation, which they hope will break the taboo surrounding this type of donation and get the word out about the increasing need for more donors. Now nah, there's no need. We need to bring back the family. Bring back family. Make traditional families great again. California Cryobank told CBS News that they are 
conducting research to address the shortage and having ongoing targeted digital marketing campaigns to promote the benefits of being a sperm, a sperm donor. CBS News reached out to Zytex and Fairfax Cryobank for comment, but have not heard back. You know, I remember a story of Ari Nagel, all right? And he was a sperm donor, a Jewish guy, and um, he was donating his sperm. And you know what happened to him? I think it was a dumb decision to be doing that. Um, all those women that he owned his sperm to, I mean, some of them, they came after him for child support. That's right. He was broke. All right. He went from going over there, wherever he had to go, and sleeping with these women to like, hey, just, you know, do your business in a cup, and I want to be on my way. Okay. That's what happened to him. That's what he went through. A math professor, you know, uh, let me say that again. A math professor. Put himself in that foolishness. And now he's broke. Nothing he could do now. He got to pay that child support. So, men, if you can hear my voice on this podcast, do not give your sperm away. Don't do it. You don't know who you're giving your sperm to. And you don't want that guilt on your conscience. You want to hit these, these functional uh, women like Ebony K. Williams where it hurts? Refuse to give away your sperm. Oh, and uh, if you really want to stick it to them, Times Squared, find a suitable woman, you know, and uh, get married and have a family. Yeah. We'll remind them that, listen, get right. That's all I got to say for now. Anything you want to know about this channel is in the description box. I'm also on Spotify and Rumble. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Later.